Number 80. Which compound in each of the following pairs has the larger lattice energy? And then note, Mg2 plus and Li plus have similar radii, and O2 minus and F minus have similar radii. And then explain your choices. Okay, so we have MgO and MgSe. Now we just have to find out which one has the lar larger lattice energy. Well, a lattice energy is the amount of energy that is needed to break down your ionic compound into its ions. So in this case, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to list out the two ions for each of these lattice structures, these ionic compounds. What do they break down into? Well, magnesium and oxygen, right? Break it down between the magnesium and, and the oxygen. Magnesium is in group two, so that's a plus two charge. Oxygen is a two minus because it's in group 16, 6a. Same thing here. Magnesium and selenium get broken down. You have magnesium, 2 plus, or plus 2. And then selenium is in the same group as oxygen, so that's a SE, minus 2. Now, when we're trying to find out the larger lattice energy, the larger amount of energy needed to break the ionic bond, always look for the differences. And in this case, for both of them, magnesiums are exactly the same. So that's not going to account for anything as far as lattice energy. The only two differences is the oxygen and the selenium. Now, when we're trying to increase the lattice energy, there's only two things that basically you have to worry about. Is the amount of electrons that are transferred from the metal to the nonmetal and the atomic radius for the ions. Now, in this case, for oxygen, they both are um, involved with the transfer of two electrons because they both have a negative two. So two electrons for oxygen, two electrons for selenium, that does not have any difference to do with it. The last thing is, is we got to know which one has a bigger or smaller atomic radius. So here's the atomic radius trend right here. Atomic radius says that as you're going from left to right, you are decreasing your size of your atom, and as you're going from top to bottom, you are increasing. So, on my little trend here, oxygen and selenium, since they are in the same group, we're only going to be focusing on going down. And as we're going down, we're increasing, so if oxygen is the first one, selenium would be larger than oxygen, because as you go down, you increase in your radius. And the smaller the radius, the larger the lattice energy, because the smaller you are, the closer you are to your atom. So in this case, oxygen is smaller, selenium is larger, and if you want a larger lattice energy, lattice energy that's increasing, you want that atomic radius to be smaller. So since oxygen is a smaller one, MgO would have a larger atomic energy. Atomic energy. <laughs> larger lattice energy. And that is the name of the game. That's the answer to this question. So in this case, MgO, all because oxygen is smaller than selenium. And that's it. I hope this helped. Thank you for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Keep studying hard. I believe in you guys. Good luck on your tests and quizzes. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye.